mac and cheese waffles. Let's go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a box of blue box mac, and we're gonna make it as instructed on the box. So, uh, uh, there. Next, you're gonna wanna add about a half a cup of cheese, or more, depending on how you like it, and one egg cracked on the counter, not on the side of that pan. You don't want any eggshells in there. Then mix that sucker right up. Perfect. Grab your trusty waffle iron, get that sucker on to high. And about high there. Now it's that on high-ish. And then scoop about a half a cup of the mac and cheese into each square, depending on your the size of your waffle iron. You know, if you got a Belgian one, Belgian waffle makers work well too for this. I've got a nice little fourth deal. You just drop the lid on and press that down. Then I'm gonna stop you there. Do not fiddle with the temperature. I was weird and fiddled with it. Just leave it on high and then boom. See how some of it's not brown? That's because I fiddled with the temperature. I was worried it wasn't getting hot enough or it was getting too hot. But once they're done, you can flip it. Try and be daring. Come on, man. You can do this. Dip. Yeah, there you go. You got one out. All right, here we go. We're going to try this one now. All right, we got it down. Oh, this one's... I already feel bad. And... Oh, that's a fail. Okay, just... Yeah, no. Well, all right. Forget the knife and the... F just get... We can save that. Just toss that on the plate. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then just go... Yeah, there you go. Now you can scoop them out. Or if your waffle iron is small enough, you can easily just, t like, flip it out. There they are, guys. So, uh, all intents and purposes, these have been sitting out for just a little bit. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... You guys up here. They've been sitting out for a little bit because of uh, technical issues. Uh, but... Uh, all intents and purposes, I did try these straight from the, um, waffle maker, and boy howdy, are they good. Uh, I will say, though, on a side note, um, make sure to, I went in a little light on there, so make sure to put it up to the highest setting, or the, like, the dark setting, or whatever waffle maker, whatever your waffle setting is. If you have settings, put it to dark. You want to get, make sure the cheese gets nice and crisp. I let mine get nice and crisp, but it's been sitting out for a little bit, so it's, um kind of soggy now but they're still they're still delicious oh, mm. oh yeah mm. you get the crispy bits from that cheese it's just craft mac i mean it's bought it's yellow box mac but the cheese sauce on top makes it and um, if anybody wants to learn how to make that cheese sauce, they remember, and these are coming out before that? No, 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 this is coming out after that. These are coming out after that. So yes, you would have known how to make the cheese sauce for these. So, more power to you. So make your, make your cheese sauce and then make your macaroni waffles and um, yeah, have at it because by gosh, it's a great way to um, spruce up your uh, mac and cheese. Mm. And the best part is, you can take the yellow box and just add whatever cheese you want. You can spice it up with pepper jack. I wouldn't use mozzarella. Mozzarella gets a little too stringy. But any cheese you want. And even you can go crazy and add a little hot sauce in there too if you want. Whatever you want, guys. Just be warned like I did. Just be brave pulling them out of there because they will be a little bit floppy at first. But God, they're so good. I'm just gonna leave it back on this note, guys. There's your, there's your, there's your money shot. There it is. It's um, it's great waffles. And um, you know what? Just, just have a ball. Have a ball and uh, enjoy. And um, yeah. I'll see you next time. Okay, I'll see you next time.